The reason why I get interested in fat cells, it's not logical, but when I first time saw fat cells, I thought they were uh, uh, beautiful. And since then, I'm loving it, and I've been studying fat cell development. The other reasons, obviously, is that uh, obesity is one of the major health concerns in the United States and also all over the world. Understanding how stem cells develop into fat cell is important. You might think that all the fat cells are bad, but we have two different kinds of fat with opposite function. White fat stores excess energy and accumulates when we gain weight. Brown fat dissipates, use energy, and it produce heat. For example, small animals like mouse uh, use brown fat and produce heat. And this is very important for maintaining body temperature. And it used to be thought that the brown fat only exists in small animals and only in infants in humans. Now we know that most adult humans have significant amount of brown fat. We are trying to uh, um, convert white fat cells into brown fat so that this would provide novel therapeutic intervention to increase energy expenditure and counteract obesity. A few years ago, we discovered a protein called uh, PRDM16. This protein is uh, considered to be a master regulator of brown fat development. The brown fat need um, this protein, PRDM16. In this paper, we discovered that a class of type 2 diabetes drug called TZDs um, convert white fat cells into brown fat through stabilizing this protein, PRDM16. By stabilizing PRDM16 protein, now we are able to convert white fat cells into brown fat uh, in culture dish and also in mice. A major concern with TZ drugs is that there are multiple side effects, including fluid retention and a risk of heart failure. If we can design drugs that specifically stabilize PRDM16 protein, this can convert white fat cells into brown fat with fewer side effects.